Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ask Amber, and today I'm going to continue my tutorial on the inventory system by showing you how to toggle items and objects independently of each other. In the last video, I showed you how to toggle items either or, so you can either have pants or shorts and they can go back and forth from each other. In this video, I'm going to show you how to toggle items independently of each other. I'd like to give a big shout out to all of my Patreon members. Thank you so much for your support, and if you're interested in joining my Patreon, I just posted my spooky Halloween-themed zombie bride avatar for October Patreon members for my top tier. If you ever want to watch me on Twitch, I also stream live. That being said, let's get started. If you haven't watched part one of the series, I recommend you go back and watch it because it's going to help out a lot with the explanations of this video. I also recommend that you watch how to make animation files, which is another video I recently posted. I'll link both in the cards above, so if you haven't seen those videos, go ahead and watch those and then come right back. So these are all the animation files that I've created for this avatar. I have my glasses on and off, I have my ears on and off, and I have my bracelet on and off. And I want all of these to be toggled on and off independently. So you're going to need an on and an off animation for anything you want toggled independently. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my parameters that I've set up in previous videos, and I'm going to add a parameter for each one of these things. So I want glasses, I want ears, and I want bracelet. Now, it's really important that you remember exactly how you spelled these because it's going to match up with the parameters that you set up in your layer. So glasses, ears, and bracelet. And what I'm going to want to do is go into my controllers, go into my effects layer, go into my parameters, and add one for each of these. So I'm going to click the little plus button and select INT, which stands for integer, and I'm going to select glasses ears, and bracelet. They don't even have to be in the same order, they just have to be in here. Then I'm going to go into my layers and I'm going to create glasses, ears, and bracelet. Now you have to decide what you want to have as default. So I would like my glasses to be on by default, so I'm going to go into the animation files that I made and I'm going to put my glasses on as my default and that's going to show up as orange as the first one that you did and then I'm going to put glasses off. You'll realize this is very similar to the last way we did it. Then I'm going to click any state, right click and click make transition to glasses on, right click make transition to glasses off as well. I'm going to click on the arrow between any state and glasses on. I'm going to create a condition. In the conditions I'm going to choose my parameter of glasses and I'm going to choose equals zero as my glasses on. That's going to be my default. I'm going to leave it just like that. Then I'm going to go into my top arrow that goes to glasses off, create another condition, same one, glasses, and I'm going to put equals one. So when my glasses are off, it's going to be one. I'm going to do the same exact process for the ears and the bracelet. Make sure that on each of these layers, you select the toggle and bring your weight all the way to one on all of them. Otherwise, this will not work. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and repeat this exact same process for your ears and your bracelet. I want my ears on for default, and ears off can be an option. I'm going to right click make transition to both, click on the arrow for the bottom one, I'm going to select ears as my parameter, I'm going to equals zero for this one, In the top one I'm going to select ears for the parameter again, and click equals one. I'm going to do the exact same thing for the bracelet. Once I've done that, I am ready to go into my menu and make the buttons and toggles for these items. So I'm going to go into my menus and I'm going to go into my clothing menu because I created this in the last video for the shorts. And I'm going to add a control here. This control is going to be bracelet. I'm going to add an image. I just realized I didn't put an image for my shorts in the last video. So <laughs> anybody who caught that? Good job. Then I'm going to go back to my bracelet and I'm going to choose toggle and the parameter for this one is going to be the bracelet integer and the value is going to be one. I'm actually going to change this to bracelet off because that is what it's going to be. So if I want my bracelet off, I will toggle it and it will turn it off. And if I want my bracelet on, I will toggle it again and it'll turn the bracelet on. I'm going to go ahead and do this for all the rest of my accessories. Okay, and now that I have all of those set up, when I go into my menu, I will be able to switch from pants to shorts as per the last video. I'll be able to toggle the bracelet on and off, the ears on and off, and the glasses on and off very easily with just these few steps. Now the difference is if you want things to be independent of each other, they need their very own parameter. So because I have 
two different items in the pants parameter, those are going to switch between each other. But these are all on their own parameter, so they're going to be independent of each other. So the bracelet is going to be able to toggle on and off at the same time that the ears are going to be able to toggle on and off and the glasses on and off. So you can have all three on at once, or you can have two off and one on, or any other sort of combination that you can think of. With the pants, it's only going to be able to do one or the other. You're unable to wear both pants at the same time. I hope that this clears it up for you and I hope that you're able to do a lot of different combinations and really cool animations using this technique. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every last one of you and I'll see you in the next video.